We recently went to Santa Barbara, and one of the first things on my list, for some reason I was inspired to go to this place, and that's the Santa Barbara Cemetery. I'm mad. So we came to the uh, Santa Barbara Cemetery to hopefully visit the burial site of Virginia Cheryl, a lady who we've talked about on several of our podcasts in our England series. So we're here and um, we know and that you she- you actually knew her. I've met her. Yes. A, more than, more than yes. once. Yes. Uh, in fact, last time I met her was at her house in Montecito, so just mm-hmm. down the road a little bit. Um, I was a teenager. Mm-hmm. She's in this building behind us. She's in the mausoleum. So we were going to go take a peek in there, but... And say a little prayer for Virginia. But we can't go inside. Can't go inside. Why? Why? Because of COVID. It's a, there's nobody There's nobody here. There's nobody here. So it would be just us. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's we, absolutely stunningly ridiculous. You think it should be okay? Yeah. Hello, bird. See, they're mad too. So... Someday in the future, maybe, we can come back and see Virginia. But today's not that day. What you gonna do? It's a strange world. You're almost gonna take out the security guard. <laughs> he was just telling you the way it is. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> He's just doing his job, keeping keeping people like you out. <laughs> Oh, it's so dangerous. I know. So well, dangerous. apparently so. Oh my gosh. But I will say this is uh, this is one of the most stunningly beautiful cemeteries but I think I've ever Santa seen. Santa Barbara. It's right over. It's right next to the ocean. It overlooks the ocean. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I, I could spend the rest of my days here. You on the top of the hill. You don't want to be in heaven. Well, my body. It's gonna. Your body's. Gone. Did you see the view? It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I like it when I'm alive. <laughs> yeah. So we might go up there and just check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But lo and behold, you, being the amazing organizer that you are, had uh, some other grave sites kind of spotted out. And you, you knew kind of where they were, and these were also famous people. Yeah, so all was not lost. So yeah. most of the burial sites, turns out, were on the grounds, the outside grounds of the cemetery. So we took ourselves a stroll through the grounds of the cemetery and I had done some homework beforehand. So there's a, if people are not familiar with this, there's a useful website out there called Find a Grave that lists an enormous amount of cemeteries. And one of the things you can find out on it is if any notable famous people are buried at a cemetery that you're planning to visit. So knowing that we were going to be here, I thought, hey, it might be interesting to look up other notable folks while we're up here. All right. So while we could not visit Virginia Cheryl, there's some other notable people who are buried at the cemetery. So one of them is Norman Gimbel. And I have found his site. Norman Gimbel being an American lyricist who wrote lyrics for popular songs, television, and movie themes. And Norman wrote the lyrics to such famous songs, famous that I know, um, Sway, Summer Samba, um, The Girl from Ipanema, the theme from Norma, and Killing Me Softly with his song, all penned by, I didn't know, that's quite a a diverse collection of songs that this guy wrote. It's diverse, and it's also, uh, a lot of songs that became well known. So yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. So Norman was born a year before my dad, so 1927, mm-hmm. and he just died three three years ago. Yeah. So this must be his wife. Yeah. Eleanor. We found our first famous people at the Santa Barbara Cemetery. So pretty here. Makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Are you calming down? Yes. After the the initial stress? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Not good to be stressed at a cemetery. There's also a lot of cool birds here, too. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful I birds. I gorgeous, colorful birds. Yeah. Okay. I've got a couple of other names we're going to go find. I know a, a actor named Thick. Alan Thick. Yes. Yes. I didn't know he died. Yeah. Recently. Oh, no. So just steps away from, from Norman Gimbel, we were about to... I was going to look for somebody else, but Julie stumbled across a plaque of a proud Canadian. Yes. Alan Thick is also buried here. Just, um, he's a few 
plots away from Norman Gimbel. So they both like music, so it's fitting they're in the same row. So Alan Thicke was best known for playing Jason Seaver, who was the dad on the ABC sitcom Growing Pains. Yeah, I liked him. And he also composed songs for some hit TV shows, including Facts of Life and Different Strokes. Mm -hmm. So he was multi-talented that way. And he just passed away in 2016, and this was kind of odd, from a ruptured aorta when he was playing ice hockey with his son. Oh, wow. So he passed... He was only born in 47. Yeah, he passed away doing one of the things that you and I are fond of, ice hockey, but uh, he didn't have a good end. He's but, Canadian, that's fitting, ice hockey. Yeah, Canadian. yeah. But here at Santa Barbara Cemetery. So Alan Thicke. Oh. Proud Canadian. I'm finding it handy to use my GPS because you can go to find a grave, put in a name, and uh, at least I think if it's been put into the system, you can get fairly close to the plot that you're looking for. And right now, we're in the vicinity of Mr. Fess Parker <gasps> no. and his wife Susie. So somewhere close to where we're standing, <laughs> but I love Mar him. It's like Marco Polo, where are you, Fess? Where are you, Fess? Do it. We have Fess Parker Sr., another Parker, Fess Parker Jr. So Mackie Allen Parker and Fess E. Elisha Parker are his parents, and this is the actor that we know. So what was he known for, Jr.? Fess E. Parker. Uh, junior. He's best known for his portrayal in Walt Disney's Davy Crockett. That's how I remember him the best. I love that character. And he did other things like he's on Bonanza a lot mm -hmm. and Daniel Boone, that show, that series Daniel Boone, he was in that. Very distinctive, very distinctive voice, very distinctive character. I really liked him. So we found Fess. Yes. And right now I'm looking for the burial site of Susie Parker and Bradford Dillman. And my GPS is telling me I'm in the ballpark next to this uh, pyramid looking structure, but I can't find them. It says I'm close, but I don't see Susie. So I'm going to look a little more, but I don't know, Susie. I might not be visiting you today. Ha! Huh. It was just steps away from where I was. I found Susie. I found Bradford. So Susie was said to have been the forerunner of the modern day supermodel. And she was in a number of films. One of them was Kiss Them For Me, starring with Cary Grant. Interesting, the, uh, the first site we were planning to visit on today, Virginia Cheryl, she was, I think, first wife or second wife of Cary Grant. Uh, so Cary Grant was in movies with Virginia Cheryl and then later on with Susie Parker, both of the ladies buried here at Santa Barbara Cemetery. And Susie was also in a few TV shows that we may have heard of in the past, including uh, The Twilight Zone and the Tarzan series. And it turned out that she was also married to husband Bradford Dillman, who was also in the Hollywood scene as well. His credits include, geez, a bunch of things. We've got the Alfred Hitchcock Hour, the man from Uncle Barnaby Jones, I remember watching that one, and Murder, She Wrote. So um, Susie Parker and Bradford Dillman are laid to rest here at Santa Barbara Cemetery. Hey, we're gonna go take a quick peek at this beautiful view of the ocean. Just a uh, spectacular setting for this cemetery here in Santa Barbara. And there's a nice, there's a bench here where you can sit, admire the view of the waters. We have a nice clear day today, beautiful weather. Love Santa Barbara. So folks visiting their loved ones, visiting this cemetery, um, can also enjoy this spectacular view.
I mean, those are just a handful of the famous folk who are buried here. There's many, many more, and we visited a few more. And you know you did this without telling me a word about it. So um, even getting to the cemetery, I was like, where are we going? Oh, it was kind of like a surprise? Yes. I don't know why I did that. You do that. those things. Okay. It's very cute. Was it okay? Yes. I thought you like cemeteries. I do. You might like them more than I. I don't know. <laughs> I do like them. Yeah. So it was a nice way to spend the morning. Again, the grounds here are stunning. It was a peaceful visit, a very serene environment. My tip would be that if you're going to visit here, again, you know, something different that does not show up on everybody's thing to do. But if you want to visit and visit some of the burial sites of some famous folks, go to the Find a Grave website, figure out who it is you want to visit and uh, see if the GPS coordinates are available and that'll make your hunting for the burial site somewhat easier. Just a beautiful setting and, and a wonderful place just for visiting a cemetery. The grounds were spectacular. All right, beautiful Santa Barbara, off for more exploration.